Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of a binary, decimal and octal converter. So I'm going to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to click on the reset and let's say we want to convert 91. There we go. If we say we want to convert 92, this will definitely be 5C. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. See right here, if you go into the office calculator in here, all you need to do is select program just to verify what we're doing in here. If I select 93, and in here you will see the hexadecimal is D, 5D. The decimal is 93, the octa is 135, and so on. So I'm going to exit, just clear this instead of exiting. Clear that and let's enter 93 in there and check it out. You see that? 5D and so on. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp tutorial where we put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. All right. So I'm going to just exit out come right here start a new project entirely click on create and let's make sure you select C sharp and here we want to select the give your project a name I'm gonna call my CS underscore let's just say binary convert underscore convert there click on create There we go, development environment is ready. I'm just going to extend it that much. And I'll then come straight to the toolbar here. Double click on the button. I'm going to need a couple of those. I'll then double click on the text box. Let's come right here, text box. Then we also need a label. There. That's what we need, those three components. Then we can just copy it across. Now, I'm going to come in here, select all of those components, and let's go straight to the tools. And let's just change the size to about 40. Bold. There. Now, the text will be something like that. And let's click on this and just change that to multi-line. Drag. That's good enough for me. Now, the button. So... Yeah, that's fine. Hold on to your control, click and drag. Hold on to the control, click and drag again. So those are the four buttons I intend to use. Be the same thing, now we need just one more. There we go. That is fine. Now, I'm gonna give them all a name. This text box, I'll just call that. That'll be TXT convert. Here yes, I'll do. That's for the text box. And I'm also going to make sure I align whatever text I have in there dead center. So come in here. Make sure that is center. Alright, now come to the first button there. Change that to convert. And here I will change that to ETN convert. And next, this is going to be reset. BTN resets. And the text content will need to be reset. There, there we go. go. And this is going to be exit. Okay. We only need three buttons. I think I have four in there. There we go. Now get rid of this. Just add a little bit of space room in here. Yeah, that is fine. Now I need some labels here. Grab all of this label, bring it here. Now come straight here. You see where we have auto size. I'm going to change that to force then the the border style i'm going to change that to 
3D, fix 3D and come right down here, get rid of whatever we have in there and align and we'll make that center. Just drag it that much. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. And just copy it across. So we have, I'm going to need four of those here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so take it off a little bit. Now, and this label here, let's just change the data on there to enter an integer. This one is going to be binary. And this label here, I'm going to change the name of that to LBL binary. There. Next is going to be Let's change that to LBL decimal. That's fine. And the label right in front of it, we just change that to decimal. Next is going to be LBL hexadecimal. LBL, let's just call that X. Yeah, that's that will do. And here, that's going to be hexadecimal. Yeah, hexadecimal. There we go. And this is going to be octets. There. Now grab all of this and let's name this one here. It's going to be LBL. There we go. All right, that's cool. Now I just need to start work on the programming. So let's start with this. Double click on the converter button itself. And right there on that very button, I'm going to first of all use an if statement if whatever you have inside the Converter text box itself dot text if it's equals equals the value of zero or that's how we write all if it's equals the value of let's say decimal let's say dot contains that would be decimal okay if it contains any of that, I just want a message box that would say something very simple. Let's just say message box dot show. I just say invalid data. Invalid data, that would do. Enter some column here. Okay. And at the same time, I would like you to reset the button, the reset button itself. Though there's nothing in there, so btn reset underscore click. And that is going to be equal sender. Okay, we have this error because we don't have the that very function yet so let's come in here and just double click on it we have that function does it and that disappears okay now let's say this we now want you to get focus come right down here paste dot focus accept that else if everything goes as planned we want the following I'm going to first of all declare an integer and this integer let's say the variable name is called number convert num convert and num convert can take in the value let's say int dot pass whatever we have in there into num convert that is good so now that that is sorted I'm going to say lbl binary let's accept that 
the LBL binary is going to be number convert here into the base 2 pump oh, enter 2 in there okay that is for the binary so this should be convert let's get rid of that all right so that's fine now the next one is going to be let's say lbl decimal lbl decimal dot text that is going to just be this okay whatever we have in here is stored in there so that's that's okay now let's go for lbl hexadecimal it's right here paste that in there the hexadecimal is base 16 so we just enter that in there then finally we have lbl octaves paste that in there and that is base 8 there we go that's it just taking care of our converter already that's very quick so if i run it now let's see what's going to happen run enter whatever value in here and get it converted there we go guys look at that that's nice now we need to take care of reset exit come right down here let's come straight into reset so this is reset here so I'm going to change this one to text equals nothing. So the text is nothing and set focus. So these other guys here, I'm just going to clear them. Copy, paste, and get it cleared. Paste, and I'll take care of that. And this one as well so that takes care of my reset so if i run it now let's say we don't want to go for 98 convert there we go reset and you can see the cursor there flashing one other thing is when the program runs i want the cursor to be flashing okay let's come in here double click on the form itself form load cursor in the text box should be flashing now let's finalize the that is for the exits in the case of exit i'm going to say use dialog result equals uh let's say dial dialog result equals exit i exit so i exit we have the following message to the equals message box dot show so we can just say confirm if you want to exit yeah now put a comma there and the name of our project i can just call that converter that'll do there and the next argument because it does take in four argument the next one is going to be message box button so i'm going to select yes no and finally message box icon i'm going to accept that yes or no so let's click on this so that we go to the next line so that you guys can see it so i'm now going to use an if statement if i exit equals dialog result to yes then in that case application dot exit there we go that's it our program is sorted okay that's exit lines of codes form load reset then the function for the converter run now let's try to enter invalid character in here okay you see that the system should not have allowed that okay so in that case we need to do something else all right so but if it's empty let's say we clear it out and i try to convert without nothing in there this pops up okay because i'm able to enter anyhow number value in there i'm now going to come in here that's good that's working now let's select the text box itself and come right down here 
come straight to the properties inside the properties go to event you see the event click on that you see where we have key press double click on key press there so instead of function for the key press all they need to do is I'm gonna say share numbers only numbers only that will be equals e dot key share now I will then use a new statement if not character dot I'm gonna accept that and let's say and the number numbers only is not equals to eight which is space then I just want the system to say e dot handle equals true there we go so this should actually refuse me or stop me from entering any other character apart from numbers so let's run it run so now I'm typing but I can't enter anything let's go for the on-screen calculator okay look at that I can enter numbers delete that but I cannot enter any other character apart from numbers okay so that is the reason for that lines of code so close that or open it and just enter some numbers in there let's go for 92 92 now there and that is how you create your own integer converter in c -sharp. so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my second channel this is my second channel that would be great if you guys can also join and become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now